हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव स्टार्टेड द चैप्टर ऑफ द ह्यूमन फिजियोलॉजी एंड डेट वाज द डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम दिस इज द पार्ट टू ऑफ डेट डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम एंड बिकॉज वी आर एक्चुअली टॉकिंग अबाउट दैट डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम वी मस्ट नो डेट वॉट इज न्यूट्रिशन सो न्यूट्रिशन इज द एक्ट इन विच द प्रोक्योरमेंट Procurement means intake, procurement of substance which are necessary for growth, maintenance and activities of the living body, right? Is done. What is nutrition? Nutrition is the process in which the procurement of the substances or the intake of the substances from outside is done, and it is necessary for supporting the growth, the maintenance. and all the activities which occur in the living body means i want to say that in a living body all the activities are performed right all the maintenance is done all the growth is done just in just because of the procurement of some substances which gives nutrition and these substances are called as what the nutrients so i can say that substances which provide nutrition i can say that the substances which provide nutrition are called as what the nutrients okay and you must be knowing that the nutrition is basically classified into two categories one is known as the autotrophic nutrition and another is known as the hydrotrophic nutrition now autotrophic nutrition means what autotrophic nutrition means self feeders okay autotrophic nutrition means what self feeders means autotrophic nutrition is found in organisms known as autotrophs what are autotrophs autotrophs are self feeders means they prepare their own food for the food they are not dependent on others fine and hydrotrophic nutrition hydrotrophic nutrition is a type of nutrition in which the organism never prepares its food for the food it is dependent on others that's why i have written a hydrotrophic nutrition means what feed on others and that's why the organisms in which hydrotrophic nutrition is found are called as heterotrophs so heterotrophs are the organisms which feed on others for food and autotrophs are the organism which are not dependent on others they prepare their own food means in autotrophs autotrophic nutrition is found and in heterotrophs heterotrophic nutrition is found now autotrophic nutrition is again of two types autotrophic nutrition is again of how many types two types one is known as the photosynthetic nutrition and another is known as the chemosynthetic nutrition now what is the difference between these okay so those organisms in which photosynthetic nutrition is found are called as phototrophs and those organisms in which chemosynthetic nutrition is found are called as chemotrophs again i am repeating those organisms in which photosynthetic nutrition is found are called as phototrophs and those organisms in which the chemosynthetic nutrition is found are called as the chemotrophs now the question arises that what do we mean by photosynthetic nutrition so as the name is indicating here the organisms will prepare food right here the organisms will prepare food by utilizing the solar energy okay because photo means what light so the nutrients are synthesized with trapping of the solar energy by the help of chlorophyll because you know very well that the light trapping system right or the pigment which is found in the plants is the chlorophyll so what is photosynthetic nutrition the nutrients are here synthesized they are not taken from outside here the nutrients are synthesized uh, by trapping the solar energy with the help of the chlorophyll and we all know that all the green plants can prepare their own food and that's why we can say that in them photosynthetic nutrition is found and such organisms that is the green plants are called as phototrophs or we can say it as photoautotrophs fine and now the another type of nutrition that is known as the chemosynthetic nutrition what you have to notice here is that 
that here there is no use of the solar energy for the preparation of the food here the breakdown of the breakdown here the breakdown of the complex inorganic and the organic molecules provide energy for the synthesis of nutrients so how this how the nutrients are synthesized in the organism the nutrients are synthesized by the breakdown of complex inorganic or organic molecules okay and this chemosynthetic nutrition chemosynthetic nutrition is actually found in the nitrifying bacteria it is found in the nitrifying bacteria which converts ammonia to nitrite again i am repeating this chemosynthetic nutrition is found in nitrifying bacteria which convert ammonia to nitrite and then nitrite to nitrate fine now heterotropic mode of nutrition now as we know very well that heterotrophs are the organisms which feeds on others for food they cannot prepare their own food so here are some of the types of here are some of the types of heterotropic nutrition or i can say these are the types of heterotrophs number 1 you might have heard about herbivorous organisms what are herbivores or herbivorous organisms so herbivores are the organisms which feed on plants herbivorous means which feeds on plants there are many examples you know very well say for the deer the cow the rat okay all these are herbivores means they are feeding on plants means they are feeding on others they cannot prepare their own food and hence they are heterotrophs second one is carnivorous you all know carnivorous organisms are the organisms which are feeding on other animals okay so carnivorous animals are uh, carnivorous are the organisms which feed on animals means they feed on flesh you might have seen that lion tiger okay all these wild animals are actually generally the predators okay they feed on prey so they are uh, flesh eating animals or they feed on other animals omnivorous omnivorous is the intermediate condition of herbivore and carnivore means they can feed on plants as well as animals omnivorous are the organisms or uh, the omnivores are the organisms which feed on plants as well as animals say for if i say human beings we human beings are omnivorous cockroach is also omnivore now this is a very important term coprophagus coprophagus means what or we can say it is what do you mean by coprophagy coprophagy or the coprophagus means they feed on their own fecal matter means there are certain organisms which feed on their own waste matter why they feed on their own waste matter because uh, say for the best example is the rabbit uh, rabbit eats grass and grass consists of cellulose and cellulose is not digested in a single time so what happens that uh, first time it is incompletely digested then again it comes out along with the fecal matter then they eat again the fecal matter and then they digest again and that's why the we can say this that coprophagy means that the organism feeds on its own fecal matter the best example is the rabbit fine now insectivorous organisms now what are insectivorous or what are insectivores as the name is indicating they feed on insects there are many creatures which feeds on insects say from frog lizards etc fine next is cannibalism what is cannibalism cannibalism which feed on their own species there are certain creatures which feed on their own species only say for i can quote here two examples one is known as the snake and another is the scorpion both the snake and the scorpion can feed on their own species means they eat their own species only and this mechanism is called as cannibalism saprozoic very common one saprozoic sapro means uh, some dead and decaying matter okay and zoic means animal saprozoic feed on decaying animal zoic means animal so which feeds on decaying animal saprophytic organisms are the organisms which feed on decaying plant phytic means plant sapro means decaying so means they feed on decaying plant when they feed on decaying plant they are saprophytes and when they feed on decaying animal they are called as saprozoites or saprozoic now sanguivorous sanguivorous means what there are certain creatures which feed upon blood means they are blood suckers sanguivores we can also call it as sanguivores 
because they they uh, suck the blood of others the best example is leech the best example is leech and the last one is the detrivores detrivores are the organisms which feed on the organic matter which feed on the organic matter which is actually found in the soil the best example is earthworm the best example is earthworm is it clear and one more thing i want to say here there are certain creatures which feeds on another living host which feeds on another living host there are few creatures which feed on another living host and they are also called as parasites they are also called as parasites okay so this was the part second of the digestive system in which we have discussed on the nutrition and the nutrients and the various modes of the nutrition say for the autotrophic and the heterotrophic nutrition and the various type of the autotrophic and heterotrophic nutritions okay so in the upcoming videos we'll be dealing with this topic so keep watching thanks a lot